Hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. Today we're talking about Cardano and the secret, the hidden surprise for Cardano. Got a couple videos I'm going to show and go over the numbers as we usually do. But the, this YouTuber has mentioned uh, about a hidden uh, asset in the Cardano project. So since I got the shirt on, we're going to do Cardano today. And then probably tomorrow I'll make a Aletha video and I might do another Caspa video later tonight. But let's get this one going real quick. So we'll look at the numbers today. Cardano is at 38 cent. That's 0.384. Um, for the last hour, it's down 0.14%. Last 24 hours is down 2.32%. The last seven days is down 2.22%. And the last 30, or sorry, last seven days is up 2.23%. The last 30 days, it's up 16.7%. And for the last 90 days, it's up a whopping 39.49%. But part of the video mentioned that there is something big coming for Cardano. So let's not give up on them just yet. So let's kick to the video. Let's see here. This is a coin market cap and showing red. Mark cap's down 2.2%. What is that? 13 billion. And the total volume today was 271 million. So let's click to the first video. Well, let's click to this video first. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And mention in the comments what you think about the video. And especially what do you think about this TVL indicator? Move up. And it's all because of this one particular leading indicator that has been discussed in the past, but really has been on a massive uptick recently. And perhaps the price of Cardano is lagging in terms of where it should be, where it could be based on this indicator. Well, that could be bullish for us because we love cheap crypto on discount prices. And Cardano, one of the assets that I love, and I love the real world use case, the leadership, everything Cardano stands for, the partnerships they've inked, the network growth, the development happening. But this particular indicator has something to do with their total value locked. And we're going to dive into it in this video, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Very, very grateful for you, and uh, let's dive in because a lot of interesting insights here. I've got a lot of things highlighted, so want to go over some of these things. Make sure you're aware of them, and if you're into Cardano, you're definitely going to love this because very, very interesting things happening. Now, Dan, Gar uh, Dan Gar uh, Gambardello, easy for me to say, founder of Crypto Capital Venture, popular YouTuber as well, very, very popular when it comes to Cardano. He names a potential trigger for this, and it's the Cardano DeFi ecosystem inflows. What does all this mean? Okay, so Gambardello states that the growth in TVL on Cardano proves to be the most obvious leading indicator of the incoming Cardano price increase. So what's happening? Is the TVL just exploding here and the price isn't catching up? Well, kind of. The growing total value locked on Cardano he says, will prove to be the most obvious leading indicator of the upcoming ADA price pop. Cardano's total value locked, or TVL, denominated in ADA, keeps growing, setting new highs of 420.26 million ADA back on March the 22nd. According to data from DeFi Llama, Cardano's TVL stands at nearly 144 million. Now, the value is even greater when staking is taken into account coming in at about 155 million. This is one of the things we've always loved about Cardano, guys. Most people stake and development is always on the rise. Now, Cardano's price has been kind of stuck somewhere between about 35 and 40 cents seemingly for 
all of 2023. And really, that's exactly what it's looked like. Now, why is Cardano's TVL important? So here we go. The overall value of crypto assets deposited in a decentralized finance system or DeFi system or in a DeFi protocol in general is known as the TVL. A rise in a DeFi platform's TVL is often followed by an increase in liquidity and other factors that support the project's success. Some analysts believe that the DeFi TVL might be used to determine whether the associated currency is priced fairly. So in this case, given the rise in TVL and no rise in the price, we could actually make the argument that Cardano is severely undervalued, underappreciated, and underpriced right now because of the lack of connection between the TVL and its market cap, which is a good thing for Cardano long-term because the price has yet to really represent all of this TVL, total value locked. So this is a leading indicator that shows us there could be some bullish days ahead and bullish weeks and months and years ahead for the future price of Cardano. Appreciate you guys as always. If you got some value here in this video, Okay, guys, this is, a, I guess, another talking head video. So, what do you think about the DeFi TVL? Do you think it's a good indicator for what's going on with the future of Cardano or the future of any uh, cryptocurrency? Or if this is just uh, another side track or another misdirection? to keep us looking at the Cardano. Also, let me know what you think about the Cardano project as a whole. And I got a quick video here uh, about um, Charles Hopkins vision for Cardano. So let's swap to that real quick. The Cardano community. Here's your article. Charles Hoskinson on crypto and the vision for Cardano. Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson was recently on Cointelegraph's Hashing It Out podcast. He discussed the current state of the crypto industry, crypto adoption in Africa, and more. There have been haters criticizing Cardano for delayed updates, so this was Charles's response. It took seven years for Cardano to grow from an idea to an ecosystem. We've already seen some huge wins, like the NFT sector. Charles also acknowledged the multi-chain nature of the blockchain industry. He acknowledged that to really stand out, you have to develop properly, you have to really have the right tools, and to be different from the other blockchains. So that's partly why he did the slow and steady approach. He wants to make sure everything's built properly. There were also some growing pains along the way. Over the years, Charles said he's also learned a lot about corruption and geopolitical tensions. And that's part of the reason why he now prefers to work with companies and individuals rather than countries. There's a lot more red tape with governments and he'd much rather collaborate with individuals. There are still plans for Cardano to expand from East Africa to West Africa with Ghana as a focus. So I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for us today. I had no idea that they were planning to use Ghana as the central focus in africa which is pretty interesting but uh, i got a friend that's going to ghana i might need to check with him just to see if they know about any of the developments with cardano there but this is a quick uh, cardano video let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment let's get some cardano comments this is black tiger mining signing out again today Let's get back to the money.